Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, welcome back to Jonathan's Gamecast. Today, we're in Kerbal Space Program version 1.0, as we were the last couple of videos. Um, so I'm currently redesigning my space shuttle so that it works. But I decided to do something a little different, something new and exciting. Um, so what I did was, I built myself an A-10 Warthog in Kerbal Space Program, that's right. Um, it's pretty sweet, um, so unladen with anything. Its takeoff speed is about 31 meters per second, which is <laughs> unbelievably good. Um, definitely taking advantage of the new aerodynamic model. Um, and um, it flies really, really well. In fact, it flies quite well with the engines off, which blows my mind. The only downside, of course, is that because there aren't any guns in Kerbal, doesn't have a Gatling gun on the front, but I'm sure there's a mod for that. So I'll just quickly show you, I'll load it up and show you how it flies, because it's amazing. In fact, it's a little bit dangerous. Um, it actually flies even well uh, with the nose cone ripped off and the tail fins ripped off. Um, <laughs> it even flies all right, possible, with a wing missing. You'll have to take my word for that. Um, so what you don't want to do, if you, so I'm going to put this, or one, a version of this, available for download on um, Dropbox so that you can have a try too which is awesome um, so when I do just note that you don't want to take off like you know what you normally do it's a plane you throw it up to maximum and then you take it off don't don't take off at maximum otherwise it is bad so just just take off at about this speed just something like that um, right, uh, so we're joined by Ronla who is you know Captain Planes is the, the um, Pilot of two space shuttle, count them two space shuttle missions. I think possibly three. Oh no, uh, not sure. Maybe two. Anyways, so this thing's powered by two of the Whiplash turbo ramjet engines with the engine nacelles. Um, it's got parachutes for emergency emergenciness. Um, in fact, one of the things that I discovered was is that I had to put on. Um, Ba a battery and some solar panels because when the engines are off because this can fly with the engines off for quite a long time I discovered that I was running out of electrical charge because there was no way to generate electricity without the engines going so I've added that um, there's also some batteries on the front here too something that looks like a gun it's just a radial air intake structural air intake anyways um, I might change the position of the um, fuel line as well Oh, I have, uh, actually, hold on. I forgot to show you. And the bear. I forgot to show you. So here's the center of mass and the center of lift for the unladen version. Um, it's got, of course, we've got ladders on here as well, which don't extend in the baseband hangar, which is unhelpful. Um, so, yeah, so its center of mass is quite a bit forward and above the center of lift, but that's not too bad. And the center of thrust, which is probably the most different of um, uh, most planes that I design, is quite a bit higher than the center of mass, too. Anyways, oh, and if you look really, really closely, you can kind of see that the... Oh, well, I'll turn these off. The normal wings are straight, and the tail wings are slightly angled up. Uh, of course, the real uh, Warthog, or A-10 Warthog, or what is it, Thunderbolt 2 Warthog, um, the wings are actually angled up as well, so there's like a sequence about, this segment about this big, um, which is straight, and then they angle up about 5 to 10 degrees. But um, I did that a little bit with some slightly different wings, and it, wasn't, it didn't perform as well. Maybe I'll try that when I get a chance at some stage to just angle these up a smidgen. Meh, one day. Anyways, so I'll show you how it flies. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Feel free, uh, okay, yeah, as I was saying, I'll put a Dropbox link for the plane, um, and you'll be able to download it and pop it in your save file, plane file, and have a try. So we'll just go SAS on 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Thirty-one, thirty-five meters per second, it comes off the ground. Just like that. Wheels up. It's fantastic. I'm gonna slow down a smidgen. 
and let's see how she likes. The only thing I've noticed handling wise is that this thing's fantastic for climbing. Just brilliant, just a dream. Um, and it's even really good for doing, not thrust vectoring, but like this with the rudder. And then the other way. Not too bad. But the one axis that I seem to have a lot of trouble with is the roll axis. It's a bit slow. Probably need more control surfaces on the back, maybe. For like it, it will roll quite happily. So if I go like this, uh, it just sometimes it takes a bit when I'm at when you're at high speed, and then rolling back the other way takes a bit too. I guess it's because the wings aren't angled, possibly. But it's still pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this is at a quarter thrust, which is really fast still. I mean, not bad. Hello. Um, but we're going to do something close. We're going to go up a little bit higher. And then we're going to throttle right back. Now the stall speed for this is about 20-ish meters per second, something like that. We're going to go like so. We're going to come around right here. We're going to buzz the tower. Maverick! Just a second. Oh, if I can do it. It's not stall. That's it. Pull away. So, the, oh, yeah. More speed, please. More speed. That's it. More speed. I've just been telling the people how great you fly without the engines on, so fly great without the engines on. Cool. Eee. And then up. Oh, oh, oh. We might need the engine after all. Uh, maybe not. Oh, we're at full speed. Come on, engine. It do take a while to spool up, which can be a bit dangerous. Oh, what is... I, I didn't do it. I might have done that earlier. Yeah, I'll have to repeat that later. So look. Turn, 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 turn. Roll, 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 turn. And then... Maverick! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I had to. Whee. Yeah, so this thing, it is fantastic. <gasps> oh, that could be a problem. Oh no, we're fine. And then, like this. So, yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't have a cannon in KSP, but never mind, it's okay. But what is really cool is I have made another version of this. Oh, landing, by the way, is really sketchy. So, um, be careful of that. It's so quick. <laughs> That, um, I mean, it's not impossible. The landing's pretty okay. Don't rip the wing off. Whoa, that was quite close. Um, yeah, so she flies like a dream. I think I can, I think I can. Okay, don't stall. Engine's up again. Okay, here we go. Terrible lining up. I've done worse, though. Trust me, I have done. Oh, it's uh, loading the area because I went more than 2.3. Okay, here's the way. So let's go flat and then like so. Hopefully we can just <laughs> what's it called? Um uh, the thing where you like crosswind landing. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Level her off. And then got engines. See what I mean? It's got a lot of lift. <gasps> oh! Not swearing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Okay, there we go. Come on, just bleed it down, bleed it down, bleed it down, bleed it down. The nose down, and then brakes! Yeah, so, um, so that's my first thing I wanted to show you. Um, but what I'm gonna show you next is something even cooler. What would make this A-chain better? You know, it's really cool, it flies really well. Well, you know what make it better? WEAPONS! <laughs> this plane has been weaponized. So, um, what we've got is we have um, goo containers uh, loaded here in sequence on the very outside, which I like to think of as KILLING THEM WITH SCIENCE. Then um, the next one in is the... Uh, is... What, what are they called? They're like an eye beam One second. Um, yeah, they are, so that one, I think it's the small one, Pocket Edition, yeah, this is the 
M Beam 200 I Beam Pocket Edition. Um, so, uh, what is it? Uh, Brunel, Isenberg Kingdom Brunel, would be very pleased that uh, I have weaponized one of his eye beams. It was him that designed that, wasn't it? Something like that, I don't remember. Uh, and then we've got two of these Oscar B fuel tank bombs with parachutes on the back. And my personal favorite, although I do really like those, is this. It's a fly-by-wire avionics hub bomb with Oscar B fuel tanks and these fantastic little twitch engines. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate my this um, brand new, fantastically weaponized. It still flies really good. Obviously, there's a lot more weight. It has changed the center of lift and center of mass a little bit, maybe a lot of bit. Um, yeah, so it did change that, loading all those weapons, but it still flies pretty well. Takeoff speed is something like 50 meters per second per second now. Rather, sorry, 50 meters per second. Not meters per second per second, that's something different. Uh, I remember that from physics class. Um, yeah, so it does fly almost the same. Um, yeah, so we'll give that a try. And again, whoop, 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 whoop. And again, we're joined by Ron Lokerman. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a screenshot because, you know. So we've got all our bombs all loaded. It's time. So I'm gonna throw up a bit more this time. Engines on. Let's see what our minimum takeoff speed is. 30, 40, 55. Yep, cool. We are airborne. Excellent. Gotta love those weapons. Oh, we'll do this. I don't want to get too far away from my velocity vector. So what are we going to hit? Well, whatever we can, I suppose. We won't be hitting our cool saved planes. Intentionally, anyways. Um, so first weapon we go. Uh, first weapon test is... Oh, we're going to slow down a bit because we're getting fast. Q is run low. Bear the... Go container bombs. Whoa. Oh, no, that's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, that's that roll axis again. Whoop. Alrighty. Say goodbye to the radar towers. Disable their communications with science. Four. Three. Ooh, well, well, we're a bit low actually. <laughs> Three, two, one, fire! Ah, oh, boo! Missed completely. <laughs> Damn it! Let's try the I beams and I beam rockets. Um. <laughs> okay, this time, let's go this way. Is it roll, roll, roll? Come on, roll around. There we go. Probably should be a bit faster with my. I should have had my throttle up a bit more, but that's okay. We're launching bombs in four, three, two. Yeah! Direct hit! Alright, that one missed. But that was pretty good. <laughs> and this, this one here is my personal favorite, really. Um, I love this particular weapon. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna try for the ca... Um, very close to blowing. No, but what we need to do is... Three, two, one... She's launched, she's live! And now I'm controlling it. What up? Maybe. Not really. Hold up. Um, where are we going? Oh, okay. Bah! Yeah. That needs more work. Love that this can accelerate like that. It's brilliant. And bye for goo bombs. So come over, come over. Nice. Now. Um, 
these ones I particularly like because they need more work. I love what they do, so I'll just show you. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the ground! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll be right back. What? Hit the ground while looking at the rockets, you say? That doesn't sound, sound like something I would do. Oops. Sorry, Rama. You're fine. I reverted. Alright, let's go. So, we're... That was a bit low. Um, and... This time, while pitching up so as not to lose the damn plane. Yeah, they need more work. They might need some fins or something. The eye beams of not hitting anything. Bombs work pretty well though. They should have got it. Where the hell did they go? Just gone. Okay, so whoop, let's do this instead. Whoop. How's that for flying, huh? Roll, 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 roll. Roll your plane gently over the thing. Alright, coming in. And three, two. Bad. And finally, three, two, one, the guided one. Pitching to guided rocket. I know. Oh, I see. So I need to go like this way. And the, the controls are sideways. Nope. No. And then this way? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Alright, maybe I need to change the direction on the. Uh, control thingy. But never mind, it sort of works. I mean, that's just cool looking, right? Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so anyways. Whoop, coming back around. Middle note, Jonathan. Change the direction of the probe core so that it matches the direction of flight. Mental note. Planning you down. Oh, oh, lag. Loading lag, loading lag. Yeah, anyways, so that's my HN. I might just do a couple of tweaks before posting it. Please give it a try. Let me know what you can do. Oh, I actually know. Before you go, probably should show you how quickly it can go. Sorry. Might get some altitude first. Oh! Might have pitched down too quick. My bad. You're, you're good there, Ron, though. <laughs> yeah, so it flies great! No problems at all. Yeah, okay. At high speed, watch turning. The new... The, um, the new aerodynamics will rip your wings off. It's awesome. Okay, bye! Have fun!